Alright, hey guys, Gandalf the Grey here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Terraria texture pack. So, first what you want to do is open up your favorite browser and Google Terraria texture packs. Um, yeah, go follow this Terraria online link right there, and then I'm going to be showing the new Zelda texture pack. So, just click on that. Okay, um, now what you need is the Terraria custom content loader. Um, it's to load a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, this is just one instance of it, and if you're going to be a serious Terraria player, you probably need it. So, yeah, you need to go ahead and download that to get the um, texture pack to work. So you want to scroll down to here to where you see download the launcher. You can just close out that tab right there. Just wait for this to load, and it is an ad fly link. Um, wait for five seconds so you can skip the ad right here click skip ad and see you have the Terraria custom content loader installer right down there now you can just close out of that ad fly link even um, I'm just going to scroll down a bit there for certain reasons <laughs> click yes because there was a weird ad on there before anyways click install uh, close now there'll be a pop-up right here that says it may not have installed correctly. Just click reinstall using the recommended settings. Um, it might be a box that pops up that says yes. It doesn't show it on Bandicam for whatever reason. Now just click install again, close, and you've got everything working. Okay, so there you have the Terraria custom content loader, which I'll show you in a bit. Now you want to download this Legend of Zelda texture pack, new Zelda texture pack. You download the RAR file for it. So just click download in the middle there. And now you need to wait for this thing to load. Now, because it's a RAR, you have to extract the correct uh, folder out of it. So to do that, you need a program called 7zip. So just Google 7zip. And just click on that right there. And you need to download this exe for it, and it's the installer for it. And um, yeah, you just follow the instructions to install it. And then it's used for a whole bunch of stuff. This is just one instance, but you need it for this thing to work. So I'm just gonna close out of that, and I'm gonna drag this into my folder for this video. Um, now there we have it. Okay, so you're going to right click, go to open with, and then choose default program, and you're going to pick the uh, 7-zip down here. Um, for some reason, mine is 7-zip file manager. I don't, I haven't figured out why that is, but so select 7-zip there, and you'll see this thing right here. So you want to click extract up there in the upper left. Okay, now you need to wait for this thing to load right here. So... At this point, you are done with Google Chrome. You can just exit out of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the next thing while this thing is working out, because it might take a little while. So just click on Computer right there. You need to access the Steam Terraria file. Just go to Program Files, times 86. Scroll down to Steam. Um, go to Steam Apps. Go to Common to Terraria and you have these things right here now at this point I'm gonna see okay so it's done that far okay um okay kinda should probably wait otherwise it'll slow down so I'm just gonna go back over here wait for this thing all of a sudden it jumps I've done this a little while it's kinda funny there we go okay so just close out of the seven zip thing there, and now you can just delete this RAR. You'll never use it again. So there you have the new Zelda texture pack. That's what you want. So let's go over here to Terraria, and you see this content. This is the default Terraria texture pack. Um, now I've noticed that texture packs don't only include the um, textures as in Minecraft. They also include music as you'll see in a bit. So you can just okay, so this is kind of a pain to locate. 
and this is the exe file that you need to run the Terraria content Terraria custom content loader so just create a shortcut and then I'm just gonna drag it into here so just double click the shortcut there um, yes if it asks you now wait for this thing to load it'll load the default uh, content and it will generate the custom content folder if you go up here you have the custom content folder there now you didn't have that before um, so you can just exit out of this now um, you don't need that now you'll go to the custom content folder and this is you this is the navigation file this is the file that you'll um, drag all your Terraria texture packs to. <laughs> Sorry there. Um, so just drag this to copy into there. Um, just wait for it to finish copying. And then once you do that, you're all done with that. So then you just need to launch your. Um, Terraria shortcut. You can actually just exit there. Now I'm just going to launch my shortcut here. Say yes again if it asks if you want to use the program. Um, I'm just going to wait while it loads the uh, new Zelda texture pack. This might take a little bit of time. Yeah, it's really nice. If you're if you're a Legend of Zelda fan like me. Um, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> Two of your favorite games mixed together. It's amazing. Yeah. So, I'm gonna wait for this thing to install. So, there you have it right here. And so, you can hear the music right here. It's amazing. Right there, you just close. And then, you have. Um, Here is a little view of what it looks like. Um, I haven't played Terraria very much, as you can tell. So here is my inventory full of stuff. Not really full. Okay. So yeah, here's what some of the stuff looks like. And then here I'll show you some of the mobs. Um, I love how the bunny and the player look. Okay, so the player is Tangle. That's not cool enough. The bunny is a uh, cuckoo in the Legend of Zelda, so it looks like a chicken, so that is amazing. So yeah, um, here's a little view of Terraria, the new Zelda texture pack. Thank you for watching, my name is Gandalf the Grey, and I bid you all farewell.